Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this the most awaited car, the sedan by Hyundai, which is the new Hyundai Vanna, which is the fourth generation in India. So this car comes to the courtesy of Modi Hyundai Kanjumak showroom in Mumbai. So big shout out to Modi Hyundai Kanjumak showroom. Follow me to view the cars. You can check out the details of the Modi Hyundai Kanjumak showroom in the description below. So let's come back to the new new Vanna. So the new Vanna is basically wider. Longer and has a longer wheelbase as well. Then the then its predecessor. Also, it has got a new powertrain and has dropped an old powertrain. The diesel is dropped and a new 1.5 liter turbo petrol has come to replace the 1 liter turbo petrol. So coming to the front, yeah, it gets this end-to-end -end LED DRL and LED lights as well. The disappointing part is the hal the turn indicator is a halogen. So I mean, Hyundai could have introduced the LED fog lamp as well in the Vona. And if you see from the front, it's a debatable opinion on the design. It's either you like it or you don't, which was like the Creta, which was introduced three years ago in the, the new generation Creta three years ago in the Indian market. So honestly, I like the design. So yeah. So coming to the side, the tire size is 205, 55, uh, 16. So this actually i'm trying to show you the wheel the wheels are all black so this is the turbo one so turbo one basically gets black wheels with the calipers at the front as well so the turbo with the dct only gets rear disc brakes as well so this is the manual variant so the length of this car has been increased by almost 100 mm to be precise 95 mm so this is 4535 mm and the wheelbase is 2670 mm which is the class leading so if you can see the design, I mean, good cuts and creases on the body. It looks way more aggressive than before. So yeah, it just catches your eye. And these are, I mean, satin finish on the door handles. Passive into here. A shark pin antenna in black and a sunroof as well. So here they have given a lift back kind of treatment for the car. And yeah, again, the satin finish has been continued. So this, yeah, it does appeal a lot. And at the rear as well, you get this running light treatment from end to end, which you have seen on the venue as well. So 1.5 turbo return over here. So yeah, let's just open the boot. So boot again is a class leading boot and it has a smart trunk function as well. So this is a 528 liter boot. Yeah, so the boot is huge. And let me show you this, uh, this is the spare wheel. So yeah, not a full size one. Yeah. So boot is huge, the class leading one. So I mean Hyundai has gone bonkers by offering rear seat space and a big boot as well. So the only problem what Hyundai owners, maybe the Werner owners were facing was the rear seat comfort and the space. So yeah, Hyundai's thought about that as well. So here we go. So here if you see good legroom, good name, good under thigh support as well headroom is also good like it, the height is the same as before but I'm 6 feet and I'm like an inch more but it's fine for a sedan I would say and honestly seats are comfortable the cabin is wide enough 3 people should be decently comfortable 2 are perfect 3 should be decently comfortable since this car comes like this is a bit behind the center console uh, drive on armistice in part this the rear ac vents and twin usb c's here some space here so talking about the headrests there's only two i mean they could have given a third one which the honda seat does give before they had the first generation one that had three adjustable headrests and the second generation one if i'm not wrong the rear windshield blind as well so that has been carried forward so here you have this height adjustable seat belts as well so yeah this is how the dashboard looks and it has increased the number of features the list goes on and on so this car has got six airbags as standard so that's good so talking about the safety this car gets six airbags abs ebd esc vehicle stability management traction control hill start assist and rear disc brakes on the turbo dct yeah so it has adas as well front, front and rear parking sensors and ADAS if you go into the, you have front collision warning and avoidance bl blind spot coll uh, blind spot warning and uh, collision avoidance and then you have this uh, adaptive cruise control you have lane keep assist lane departure warning lane change assist so a lot of features I'll put up on the screen so you can check it out what in Verna has introduced Verna has been introduced by is the electric seats 
so that's good we are stretching on the seats as well since it's a turbo we went front and we are parking power windows sorry door pockets are big enough one little bottle will easily fit over here and here you get this traction control auto start stop so this they have indicated indicated an isg indicated starter generator so headlight level as well so doors do feel heavy than before before it was like damn light now it's a bit more heavier driver armrest with some space twin cup holders and we have a manual handbrake here the turbo dct gets the um uh, electronic parking brake with auto hold function manual gearbox which absolutely the enthusiasts were waiting for front parking sensors camera and you have three drive modes basically they have introduced drive modes as well eco normal and sport as you can see here so yeah, let's just leave it in normal wireless charger a usb c and a usb as well so yeah this is the new thing what hyundai has offered is this the touch screen so basically this is a physical control unit which is a good thing and they've offered a screen as well so basically you have physical knobs for the radio so this is the radio mode just press this it goes to the climate control so this is good like keeping physical buttons for the radio and stuff so here you have the, the glove box which is big and it has a cool glove box so the ambient lighting runs from here to here with the color option of 64 colors basically yeah they've offered 64 colors and you have a map light here as well with a sunroof the same thing it's just a big bit bigger than before you have twin lights here as well yeah so here you get a mirror and same as the case here here you get a mirror auto dimming inside your mirror and blue link connectivity as well this car gets both surround sound system or and an air purifier as well So talking about the multi information this before that let me show you the steering wheel. So here you get the um uh, adaptive cruise control and the multi information display controls, volume controls and voice command as well. So let me show you the infotainment system. So it has driving info. so it has a compass as well and the tire pressure monitor so yeah it does get tire pressure monitor and here you get the screen so map navigation valley mode quiet mode many things are there which was there in the two song and the ionic 5 as well so if you get into settings so it gets wired android auto and apple carplay the 10.25 in screen it is wireless on the 8 inch screen i don't know why hyundai is doing that So if you see, you have vehicle settings here. So you have driver assistant system, cluster. So you can select the theme as well, and lights. The main thing, the ambient lighting. That's what I wanted to show you. So let's just choose the color. Okay, these are the ones, and let's set a custom color. Here we go. We can choose blue. Beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Just look at it. Let me show it to you again. Let's just choose yes, so violet, maybe green, which was before. So they have like sixty-four colors, and absolutely, it is good. Honestly, really good, really good. Kudos to Hyundai for doing this. It did like I honestly, I am happy. They are offering ambient lighting, like first in the segment to offer customizable ambient lighting. in the car and yeah so it has navigation sound device connection voice recognition bluetooth so lot of things and uh, yeah so good so now talking about the fuel efficiency the uh, fuel tank capacity is 45 liters and the mileage by area for the Turbo petrol manual is twenty kilometer per liter and the DCT has more twenty point six. It's just because of the integrated starter generator. So let me show you the engine bay and this it's showing because the engine bay is open. So yeah, the, this is the new finally the new engine which everyone have been waiting for. So before they had a one point four liter turbo petrol engine with one forty PS. So now they have upgraded it. to a 1.5 liter turbo petrol for to meet the rde real driving emission norms 
that basically to be six phase two norms and here it is the 1.5 liter turbo petrol with hold your breath 160 ps and 253 newton meters of torque mated to either a six speed manual or a seven speed dct 0 to 100 a claim time of 8.1 seconds which is the fastest in the segment comparing it to comparing it to the rivals i think the slavia and the virtus has around 150 ps and does 0 to 100 in if i'm not wrong 8.6 or 8.8 seconds and this is 8.1 seconds some people claim it to be 7.7 .7 seconds as well in the real world so i mean yeah it has like the engine definitely will catch your eyes and it is more appealing since it is much cheaper than the Slavia or the Virtus DSG, the top end of the line. And after offering like so many good features and improving the build quality as well, offering so many safety features as well as standard, so that's good. I mean, even the doors feel heavy. Some places, I mean, it could have worked better. It is appealing, so yeah. Even if you see from the outside, the engine lighting, yeah. So it, actually, while telling about the car, my eyes are going towards the image lighting. So it, yeah, it appeals a lot. The only thing what could have been better is the two-spoke steering wheel. Maybe Hyundai might offer a three-spoke one in the N-line, which might as well come to the Indian market after maybe say two months or something. Even I'm excited to, to see the N-line for the regular one now. So that would be great, and it would be the third product offering for Hyundai in the N-line segment in India. So if anyone is interested to go for this guide, you can definitely go for it. So you can comment on YouTube, comment on Instagram, DM on Instagram if you have any doubts. And I can help you connect to the dealers as well. So thank you so much. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And do let me know your views of the new 2023 Hyundai one.